Without further ado, I want to tell you, the way I was treated at the airport authority on Monday sucks. It was on the agenda to have a discussion about this matter, and I waited. And a reporter from the paper waited. We were the only ones there that weren't staff, as usual. And just when the item came up, they went into closed session. So I stopped Mr. Quintero, the big new honcho there, maybe 40 minutes into his role. No Porto's coffee available. And I challenged him. Hey, what happened to the item? Oh, we'll get to it after the closed session. So over an hour later of us sitting around twiddling our thumbs and very little else, they came in and they brought up this little lawyer dude and sat him down in the corner chair next to Mr. Fager and he sounded off to us about how they did nothing in closed session. And that was the end of the item. What a sham. What a farce. But it's becoming typical of the airport authority. And that's one of the big factor undermining the public's confidence in anything you may negotiate with them. Because we've actually found out more from you all as a city council in the last few weeks than we've found out in two years. This is ridiculous. All this talk behind closed doors. And then, to add the creme de la creme, to find out that this item labeled July 15th, which they could have given me on Monday after I sat there at the airport authority. They've had no meeting since then. Where did this come from? What did they pull it out of their anatomy? And all of a sudden, it's a new and improved position from the airport authority. Bullshit! This is ridiculous. This is not a way to run a public facility. And by God, I'm telling you, you finally got my attention. I'm one of those that fought in this town for public ownership of that airport. And now you pulled my chain. You're going to comply with the law or get the hell off the authority. I don't care what staff tells you. Most of you had a background in government. And it's time you stop to think about it. Are you doing your job? Is that airport there for the public and the benefit of the public? or for the benefit of the staff. And as far as the high-speed rail goes, it's time some of you commissioners looked into this matter and get away from the hiding behind staff's skirts. High-speed rail was voted on by the people of the state of California, whether you like it or not. As far as I'm concerned, I have no regard, no respect, until the airport authority kicks in the line obey the law, and treat us decently. If I'm the only citizen that shows up, I deserve some respect anyway. I have contempt for the way you've treated people, and you won't get along with it much longer. Thank you.